Hello and welcome back to Easy Self Host. In this video, we're going to set up a bookmark app called Hoarder. Hoarder helps you save links and images so you can come back to them later. It also supports automatic tagging using large language models, making it easier to organize your content. We are pairing it with an Olama server for self-hosted AI. Plus, it comes with mobile apps and browser extensions to make saving content very convenient. Now let's dive in and run Hoarder with Docker Compose. Here's the Docker Compose file I adapted from the official documentation. First, we define the Docker network ProxyNet to connect our Hoarder server to our reverse proxy. Next, we create two Docker volumes to store data for the Hoarder service and the Maili search service. We'll mount them to the container in just a moment. In the service section, we have three services, the Hoarder server, a headless Chrome browser for crawling content, and the Maili search for full text search. For the Hoarder server, we are using the official container provided by the author. In the volume section, we mount the data volume to slash data to store the app data. For networks, the Hoarder server needs both proxy net and default network, so it can connect to the proxy server and its dependencies in this Docker Compose setup. Hoarder offers many configuration options via environment variables. The data dir variable tells Hoarder where to store its data. We set it to slash data, which matches our mounted volume. The Mali adder points to the Mali search server, and the browser web URL specifies the API address of the headless Chrome. These two are the dependencies in this Docker Compose we'll see in a moment. Next, there's a Mali master key, which is the credential for accessing Mali search. We'll configure the same credential in the Mali search service shortly. The next auth secret is used for holders authentication. Next auth URL is the address where users should be redirected upon sign out. This should match the domain name for the holder service. Now let's set up the Olama options for AI features. If you haven't seen how to run Olama, check out my previous video. Here, Olama base URL is the base address of the Olama service. Inference text model is the model for text content. I'm using q 257 b Inference image model is for image content. This model must support image-to-text operation. For example, I'm using Lava 7b. Make sure these models are already downloaded on our Olama server. I also increased the inference context length so holder can send more content to the AI model. But keep in mind this may result in more processing time or higher costs for remote APIs. If you prefer not to run Olama, you can use any OpenAI compatible API instead. For GPT models from OpenAI, you only need to set the OpenAI API key variable. For other compatible APIs like Google or OpenRouters, you also need to configure the OpenAI base URL and model parameters. We are also going to enable the video download feature so holder can download videos from sites like YouTube. For Chrome, we are using the headless Chrome image from Zenica. Since browsers can be memory intensive, I set a limit to safeguard other services. The commands to configure Chrome come straight from the holder's documentation. Lastly, we have the Mali search service using its official image. In the volume section, we mount the Mali search volume to slash Mali data for its data storage. In the environment variables, we are using the same master key specified in the holder service. We also set Mali no analytics to true, so we are not sending any usage data to Mali search developers. That's all for our Docker Compose setup. We will also update our reverse proxy rule to map a domain name to holder. I am using caddy, so I will add a caddy rule to proxy holder.home.easyselfhost.com to the holder service on port 3000. Next, let's head over to our server's command line to run Holder. We'll navigate to the directory where our Docker Compose file is located. Then let's run docker compose app d After it starts, we should also refresh our proxy configuration. I'll just restart my caddy container. Now we can open a browser and go to the domain name we assigned to Holder. For me, it's holder.home.easyselfhost.com. The first thing we'll do is to sign up for an account. 
and then we'll be inside the holder web app. Now let's try pasting a link into the new item box. We'll see holder crawl the site and generate a thumbnail within a few seconds. The tagging process is a bit slower, since it sends the content to Olama for language model processing. After a while, the tags will appear, generated automatically based on the link's content. Holder also supports adding images as bookmarks. First, let's try adding an image of a cat. We can say the image model recognizes the cat and automatically generates some relevant tags. Next, let's add a screenshot with some text. You'll notice it understands the text in the image and adds appropriate text. From the Holder app, we can click a bookmark to open the link directly. Or we can click the Expand button to open a preview UI. In this preview, we can see the bookmark content, tags, and even use Olama to generate an AI-powered summary of the content. At the top, we can switch from cache content to screenshot for a capture view of the website. You'll notice that archive and the video are currently grayed out, so let me show you how to enable them. Archive is useful for preserving pages in case the original site goes down or changes. We can archive the site by clicking Download for Page Archive under the bookmark. After that, you will find the saved page in the preview, preserving the original look of the site. For video links, such as YouTube, Holder will try to download the video automatically. In the preview, you will find the downloaded video once it's finished. To search for our bookmarks, we can simply use the search bar. It performs a full text search on both the content and the text, which is pretty fast. And it also supports fuzzy matches. We can also filter bookmarks by going to the tag section. Here, if we click any tag, it will show all the bookmarks with that tag. Aside from adding links directly in the web UI, we can also use the browser extension or the mobile app for quick bookmarking. There's a browser extension available for both Chromium and Firefox-based browsers. I'm going to download the holder extension from the Chrome Web Store. Let's click the extension and enter the URL for holder, and then sign in our account. After that, you can click the extension button to add the link to holder in one step. Mobile apps are available on the App Store and Google Play. We also need to configure the server address in the app. Then sign in to our account. After this, you can share content from other apps directly to a holder. That's it for this video. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing for more self-hosting content. You will find all the configuration files on GitHub. Just check the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.